Morning folks, Lester here. Uh, I'd like to say I'm getting a bright and early start this morning, but it's it's darn near 8.30. <laughs> and I'm just dragging y'all. Some days you do that. I don't feel bad, I don't feel bad, don't worry about me. I don't feel bad at all, but I'm just tired. I am just physically tired. And uh, some mornings are like that. And I had plans to get started on my fence this morning early. And I don't know how, I just don't know how they do it. I got a question for you. Have you ever found yourself something in life and you're getting so close to the finish line, just a little bit further, just a little bit further, and you just cannot find it inside of you to keep going? I could be a metaphor for a lot of stuff, I guess, but in, in my situation here, I started this fencing project knowing I was going to have a little bit of a hard time. Um, a week-long project I can handle. I've done the loafing sheds, uh, small fencing things. I've done projects where I had help, like over at Brienne's house. A few things around I'm a survivor. But I'll tell you what, I started one over here that is just, it's just taking it all out of me. And I really do, I feel like I'm so close to the finish line, but I just have nothing left in the tank. <laughs> I have nothing left in the tank. I feel fine, I'm just tired. Let me turn my camera around and show you what's going on. Show you where we're, where we're at here on our fence. So this is just where my, my, the, my little engine that could said I can't. This is, where, this is where my little engine that supposedly could says I just can't no more. And that's what I got left to do today. It's a small stretch. It's a small stretch. That's an hour's worth of work. And I'm gonna get it done. But this morning, when the alarm goes off at seven, and uh, I normally will, you know, snooze it a couple of times, maybe sometimes fall back asleep for a little bit. All of a sudden I know it's eight o'clock and then 8.15, 8.30. And I'm like, gosh darn it, Lester, get up. And I just, I am dragging butt. I think they, that's what they call it, just, I'm dragging butt. I'm embarrassed because I know that uh, every, everyone that I know, all of the fellas on the other social media channels that I'm friends with, they've been group texting all morning. They're up and about, they're doing their analytics, they're talking about video content they're talking about mean commenters the things that we all talk about and i've just been ignoring every one of them because i just cannot <sighs> but i've gotten about i don't know a little bit of a stretch to go and i'm not going to paint today because it's, we have more rain in our forecast but I gotta come by and stain the entire thing. I can stain the entire thing in a couple of hours, but I've been putting two coats. So that's just a one day project when I have time to do it. <sighs> Today I'm gonna be taking all of the kittens, our res little rescued kittens, the one that Uncle Dan brought to the vet. That's not until 2.30 this afternoon. So I know I don't have the entire day to spend over here anyway. Jake and Ben, are pretty much taking care of everything that I'm a survivor. So I don't have to rush home for any particular job. So I am, I'm gonna get up and get going. But uh, just curious if y'all ever had days like that where you just can't seem to get going. That's my problem. I wanna talk to you about something else this morning. It's an idea that I had one that I think, this is an idea that I think you're going to like. Now I can't do a lot of this project because it's gonna require some really, it's gonna require working, you know, 15, 20 foot off the ground. I can't do that with my knee, with my shoulder, and with my sphere of heights. But listen to what I wanna do. This is what I told Jamie. She likes the idea and I wanna see what you guys think, okay? You ready for this? All right. Picture this spot, this side of the building over here. And even though right now we have some trees that are planted, Jamie and I are, neither one of us are happy with the way the trees are planted. We don't really like this area 
And most of you have told us this is a really bad place for an orchard. You have, you've told us that. You, you have said this is not the best place for an orchard and I forgot all the reasons. So I told Jamie I have an idea. Now picture this. What if we move these little orchard trees, that we move the little fruit trees, we find a different spot for them. Y'all ready for this? <sighs> this concrete slab that is right here, we extend it all the way down. That's 40 foot. It comes out about 30 foot. So a 30 by 40 slab all the way down to the end of the building. Okay, then we take our camper. Our camper's great, we love it. It's working out really good for us. I mean, it is a, it really is a really neat home away from home. But we take our camper, we back it out of the shop here, give us, we give us all of our shop back. We want our shop back. It takes up too much space in our shop. And we back it in right along through here on top of that concrete slab. The door will be facing out over here. At that point, we come by and we build us, or we have someone build us, an overhang. Something that comes off of the main building and comes off to, you know, to keep the uh, camper protected. I'm going to tell you all something you probably don't know. In the weather, you can average about 15 years out of a camper like this. In the weather... People can get about 15 years out of one. But guys, when you can protect one, you can double that. Now listen, this thing is fairly new. Jason and Brooke had it for a while, but uh, they've kept, you know, really good care of it. We've had it for a while inside the shop, so it's not having to deal with any weathering whatsoever. We could build us an overhang, and then the camper would come out 15 foot. So the camp would come out to about here. That means we'd have all this extra, would all be concrete. We could make a really nice little porch area onto it. Real nice little porch area. And that would give us, it would give us our shop back. Shop back. The reason you're saying, Lester, why do you need your shop back? What do you, what's so important about your shop? Well, many things. There are, there, are, there are many things that we need our shop back for. One thing is Jamie's hosting a work event here in February. And it's going to be an, uh, a, a farm event. So all of the... This is going to be so funny, y'all. Hear this. All of these executives, these doctors, attorneys... Everyone that works in the organization part of Jamie's medical field, uh, about 20 people are going to be meeting in Houston for their convention over this particular weekend in February. Okay, this is going to be funny. Uh, for the event, Jamie's boss wants to have it over here. He and his wife watch the channel, and they want to do the event here. They want to really give these doctors an experience that they've never had before, <laughs> something they've never done. So they've given Jamie a budget. Jamie has gone and she has got all of their sizes. She has bought them all a pair of rubber boots. Uh, they all have a pair of overalls. Overalls, y'all. Country farm overalls. And then a shirt like I'm wearing right now. It has a, uh, a little plaid shirt with our logos on it. Longhorn Lester's from Suits to Boots and I'm a Survivor. And then what's going to happen is after their convention, they're going to all meet up one morning. And, uh, well, they always have these little icebreaker things. They always do these different events. But on this particular day, they're going to all meet up. And when they get to their meeting place, they're going to be shocked and surprised to find that they have to change clothes. <laughs> they're going to all have to change clothes into their farm attire, their farming attire. And then they're going to be bussed over to here. I have to go down to the road and take down my Longhorn Lester sign because the bus will not fit up the driveway. We've already measured the bus is nine, 
something feet high and my sign hangs down too low. So we'll take down my sign, which is fine. And they'll be able to drive up our driveway. The bus will park them right about over here somewhere. And then they will all walk into our building. Jamie and I have a lot of work to do before that day. We have to take all of the stuff off our shelves, all of our stuff off our shelves and either reorganize it or put some kind of covering. But the event will be right here. The event will be right over here. Her work has already sent us these big heaters in case it's cold. Uh, these big patio heaters. They sent us two of them. And so we will have the garage doors closed. And we will have a... Uh, there's, oh, Papacitos, which is a Mexican restaurant here. Papacitos will come out, and they're going to do barbecue, uh, Tex-Mex and barbecue for the, for the lunch. And then Jamie and I will be hosting games. We're going to be hosting all kinds of farm-type games. There'll be stuff to do as far as, obviously, petting and loving on the animals, uh, riding the four-wheeler. I'll bring the other four-wheeler from the other house. It'll be two four-wheelers, so... Folks can go off across the pastures and ride their four-wheelers. I don't know about putting the Argo out yet. I don't know if doctors and folks want to get inside the Argo. But Jamie and I plan on giving them the time of their life. And, of course, they'll be wearing farm gear. They will walk amongst the ostriches. I know what you're saying. They're going to sue you, Lester. Those people are so happy. They'll sue your ass. No, they ain't. Because we've done taking care of all of that. There's all kinds of stuff that they've had to sign and, and stuff. They don't know what's going to happen yet. But they ain't going to be able to come over here and start suing everybody. Anyway, it's going to be a really fun event. Let's not bog down the comments and all of the things that could go wrong. Let's talk about the things that are going to go right. Okay, so now it's time to talk about the, the downfall. Or the, let's just say the cons. Personally, I think the side of the building is quite the eyesore. I do. I think it's quite the eyesore. So I would not mind having the camper sitting there with a nice pretty patio out in front of it. You know, some patio furniture and whatnot. Don't forget that that camper has an attachable barbecue pit area that, that swings out of it. And so it'd be a really neat, neat place. I like it. I like the idea of it. And I also like having the shop back we don't you know our shop has been great to take and house that big old camper but it does take a lot of space out of our shop space that we could sometimes use for different things so anyway just a little bit that we're thinking about and talking about this is still over a month away so we have time but i would love to get your thoughts on it and remember how i just said we have time we have time is over a month away <laughs> I can't wait. I just couldn't wait. I did it. I did it. I just couldn't wait. I did it. Now I'm going to show you. So this is how I got it set. Uh, excuse the wind noise. But I pulled it in here right alongside the building. I did not realize how heavy it was. And I put some pretty good ruts in the ground there. But if we eventually pull it, if we, if we like where it's at, if we like where it's at, then what we'll do is we'll give it some time. We'll eventually pull it back out and we'll try to get a concrete slab poured at least along. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do, but we will figure it out. So this is how it looks from the driveway view. It's kind of hidden behind the shop there. It's not an eyesore at all the pasture side hi sweeties and then this is the way it looks here. so it's, it's not bad it blends in real nice and we will really consider whether that's where we keep it I, i'm okay with it there so the bigger question is 
where do we move all of Jamie's fruit trees? Now listen, I had her permission to pull these out of the ground. Don't think I just come yanking stuff out of the ground on my own. Jamie gave me permission. And I believe she wants to plant them over there kind of along the fence line. Okay, so there's no power hooked up right now because I got to figure all that out. But uh, we got the camper all moved and we got some pretty good views from around here. It's pretty good views from at least three sides of the camper. Not much to see out there. Nothing to see there. But uh, when we do our lives, we'll still be like this over here. And so that's that's not bad. It's going to be good. This is how I'll wake up every morning. Not a bad view. Not too shabby. All right, y'all know what time it is. Everybody get on up. Let's end this video the right way. Thank y'all for watching and for loving and supporting us. And we will see you next video. Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs>